Isn't it a bit much of a coincidence, Mr Dacre, that at the very time of this article about flirtation with a posh film industry woman, that there was a plummy-voiced English woman who was an executive assistant in the film industry, who was leaving Mr Grant silly or flirtatious messages on his voicemail late at night about meeting up about a Warner Brothers film. Do you understand what I mean by that? I'm not going to comment on, on <coughs> uh, coincidences. But in these circumstances, uh, Mr Dacre, can you honestly be 100% certain, having looked into it, that this story was not based on information which had somehow been accessed from Mr Grant's I can be as confident as any editor, having made extensive inquiries into his newspaper's practices and held an inquiry that phone hacking was not practiced by the Mail on Sunday or the Daily Mail. You know that because I gave this inquiry my unequivocal, unequivocal assurances on that last, uh, earlier in the week. You see, Mr Mohan, the editor of The Sun, you've mentioned other editors, had to accept he couldn't be 100% sure that none of his journalists or freelancers... Remember, this is a freelance story. That none of his no, journalists... it's a freelance story that was written by a staff person talking to senior freelancers, yes. That none of his journalists or freelancers hadn't obtained any of their stories from accessing voicemails. Yes, I can be very confident because those journalists are, are journalists of integrity. We've used them in our group for years. And the source, I've told you, of Ms. Feinstein uh, had been, had been imp impeccably accurate in the past. And Mr. Wallace also said he couldn't be sure. I'm not going to speak for other newspapers. I will speak for associated newspapers, and I've told this inquiry I cannot be any more unequivocal that all my inquiries and all the evidence I have received, having spoken to the editors of my group, our group did not hack phones. And I rather resent your continued insinuations that we did.